Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of Sue's new Etsy templates. Uh, so you can use these to create uh, images to put in your Etsy shop to show them off, to show off your new products and stuff. And I love them, actually. Um, I love the Canva temp templates as well. But in terms of just doing this real, real quick, even, this is even quicker uh, than Canva. So I'm really loving that. And I'm, it might be quicker because I'm more familiar with PowerPoint. But if you're more familiar with Canva, you might be better at that. Not sure. But these are super simple to use. Okay. So I'm just going to show you uh, what I might do with one of these. Okay. So you have instructions on here. You can change out the backgrounds, uh, the shapes. They have shadows which you can adjust, which I appreciate because it's difficult to do that on, on in Canva, play with the shadows, okay? Um, you're just going to fill the shapes with your images that you want to show off, and you can just duplicate the page and move them around, rotate them, whatever you want to do, right? So you just want to make sure you keep the proportions so it looks like a letter-sized page, okay, one of these because this is like eight and a half by 11. That's usually what you use to show off your pages, coloring pages, journal pages, uh, as such. Um, but I might wanna, cause I want at least one of these to be, uh, like 11 by eight and a half. Okay, so we'll see, I'll go through that. So first I wanna change out the background. So I'm just gonna click on the background here, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to go to design, go to format background and see it's already got picture or texture fill. So I'm just going to click on insert because I want a picture from a file. And <clears throat> Sorry, these are my uh, things. Uh, let me t check out some paper I've been working on. Okay, so let's use this. And there I have the background I want. Okay. Now I'm going to fill in each of these pages and uh, each of these shapes and I'll do it using the um, things I used, the, the worksheets that I made for uh, Amy's Easy Learning Printable Tutorials. So what you want to do is you want to click on the one you want to do, click on Shape Format, go to Shape Fill, click on Picture, okay? And let's go back to where I was. Okay. Um, okay. So let's do this. So I'm going to put that click, double click on that. That'll bring it into there. Okay. And then you just keep doing that. Shape format, shape fill, picture from a file. And I'm just going to keep putting them in. And then I'll play around with them once I've got them all in there. So shape format, shape fill, picture from a file. Let's take this one. And yeah, one more. Shape, shape format, shape fill, picture from a file and let's do that one now this one <coughs> excuse me I'd like to put in like an 11 by thing so I'm going to click on it go to shape format do the same thing shape fill go to picture from a file and I'm going to go back to I think is it this one? No, but I like that one. So let's put that one in there too. I'll come over. Actually, yeah. Let's put that. Sorry, I'm playing around too much. Shape format, shape fill, picture, and I'll put that one in there instead 
and then this one just click on it shape format shape fill picture and I think it might be in another one right Okay, yeah. Let's do a matching game, right? So now, see how this is not 8.5 by 11, but well, kind of like 11 by 8.5. So when you put it in, this is what happens, squishes it up, and I don't want to do that, right? So if you want it to be um, like I do, like this, well, like this, right? Just come up here, and the height says it's 418, and the width is 3. So make the width 4.18, and the height 3. Okay? And then you can just turn it, and now you've got that way, right? And I want this behind this, so it shows a bit more. So I'm going to come up here, shape format, send backwards. I'm just going to send it to the back. No, sorry, wrong one. I'm going to bring it to the front. Okay. And now I want to change this around a little bit. So let's try this want it to be a little bit more okay send that back okay not all the way to the back because I still want it on top of this okay so you can play around with the placement of these you can add more of them all you have to do is do a control C so copy Control V and paste it if you want to add more pictures. You can make them bigger or smaller. And the best way to do that, to get them all to be the same size, if you do want to make them smaller or bigger, just highlight all the ones you want. Okay, they're all in there. And then just make them smaller, make them bigger. Whoops, you should hold down your shift key when you're doing it. Okay, and that'll work. Now, I want it to be my shop color, so I'm going to change the color of this. Come up here, shape format, shape fill. I already have my pink up here. And I want to do the same for this. So I'm going to just fill it with my store color kind of thing. And then I want to make the text white. And I want to make it a bit bigger, I think. Okay, so I'll just come up here, make it as big as you like. I'm going to bold it, bring it up. You can change the fonts, do whatever you like with them. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Okay, let's make that bigger too. That looks good. Bring it up. Let's make it white, shape format, text fill, white, and go to home if you want to bold it. There we go. <laughs> and there we have a really cool image to add to an Etsy shop. And I mean this you can put up here. I'm just going to put uh, educational printables, I think, would probably work better. Perfect. And then you could just save it by going to File. If you just want to save that one, not the whole thing, because you're only going to be using these really to show off your shop, right? So you don't need a PDF. You don't need a, <coughs> a PowerPoint file. So you would go to File, Save, go to Export, Change File Type, click on the PNG because that's a higher uh, resolution than the JPEG, and then click Save As and you'll get a box coming up so it doesn't really matter where I save it and th ooh, that's loud um, then I just want to save this one because I haven't worked on the others right so I'm just gonna save that one and it will tell me 
that it has put this into uh, its own folder eventually, I hope. <laughs> That's so weird. Why is it taking so long for just one? Hmm. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but normally it will just save it into its own folder as a PNG file, and then you can go and use that, right? So that's one of them that I wanted to use, and let's say I want one, one other image for something. Uh, uh, let's, you want to take that one? Okay, so let's use this one. I want the same background because say I'm going to be using these in the same, for the same product that I, or a different product, but on this, in the same package, right? So I'd want two of these. And let's see, I'm going to put, use the same background. So picture, so you click on the background, go to insert from a file. And let's see my papers okay and again I'm gonna do the same thing up here I want to be my shop colors so I'm gonna just click on shape format shape fill same as whoops where'd I go <laughs> okay same is down here so I want the shape to be shape format and my color and let's change this out right now so I'll put my shop okay and I want this to be bigger so let's go to home 20 let's make that 2832 go back to shape format text I want it to be white I guess I should have made it bold and then home and use bold and let's move that up a little okay and here it's, let me see I'm going to put space aliens maybe I'll put in some uh, coloring pages okay and let's shape format so text to be white let's go to home make it bold and make it a bit bigger okay so now we're going to fill these in so you're going to click on it go up to shape format go to shape fill picture Do this little guy I like him and you just keep doing that till you fill it all in so shape format shape fill picture from a file and I kind of like you I would make these uh, make sure you're using a JPEG okay because otherwise you'll have a transparent background and you could do that too and just leave the colors there so that could be cool as well shape format shape fill picture from a file but you see how easy this is it might take a little bit of time but not that much you know once you know the uh, process for it, it goes really quick right so let's finish that off <laughs> I like this guy and one more shape format shape fill picture from a file let's see one of my oh I like him a lot okay so there you have five coloring images. And the great thing about this is you can make these smaller if you have like 20 of them, right? You can make it, make them all really small. Well, big enough so you can see them. Okay, but you could fit like, you know, 
like that and then just line them up one after the other after the other it's got a nice shadow on the back of it so this is a really cool way to show them so let's bring those back I won't do that right now because it'll take a little bit longer so I want this to be like this so you just come up here use that space them out this I want to move backward just not send to back send backward because I like that the shadow shows up on top of it right and this same thing see it looks like they're too close together but if you move this guy back so click on it go to shape format send backward goes behind this and then if you want to send it back one more go back and send backward okay come on <laughs> Okay, so if you don't, no, there you go. It's just taking a long time. I want, don't know why. I want this. Move it over a little like that. Okay, and I like him here like that. And I'm going to move him backward. Come over a little bit this way. And there we go and it looks awesome you know so these are really simple to use especially if you're used to using PowerPoint you can do a whole lot with them and just change out everything you like right so I would definitely pick these up if you do Etsy your Etsy shop or even your own shop I mean these are going to be great for me too if I not just for Etsy but if when I put together my bonuses and stuff or even my own products I can show them off in the shop like this you know so I'm looking forward to using these anyway that was fun <laughs> okay I really did enjoy it and I'll probably play with it more talk to you soon